And as you've gone from 1G to 2G to 3G to 4G to 5G, how it's affected the antenna design, it's continually pushed the operating bandwidths of the antenna designs to just larger and larger values. We're looking at broader band designs now. We have some products that, that fit in that category now that are spanning that range as a single antenna. And we look to develop more. A customer gets in touch with our sales channel. It's something that they can't answer. The next step is a walk from the sales offices back to research and development. The discussion starts to happen. And next thing you know, you're talking to an engineer. That tends to be the way things work out. If it's not right in line with something that we might have available, it could be something that's just a slight derivative off of something that we do have. Nothing crazy and a little bit of evaluation and a new product is ready to go. We'll have a special agents call in and they need something tuned at a particular frequency for whatever job that they might be doing. He's got to know a little bit about what he's doing. I don't need all those parameters that we talked about, but I'm going to need a few. We got to know where we're operating frequency wise. If that's something that's classified, then obviously we're going to have to handle that a little differently than if it's common knowledge. We need to understand the radio that he's using, which is probably going to be commercially available. Frequency, those ranges that you're operating in, the power that you're using, that's probably enough to get us started and then how you're gonna use it in, in your particular application. I think a lot of the frequencies that most of those field agents probably operate at are known, but if there's something specific to them, that's their information. It's kept on file with the project. It's not something that's discussed openly by any means. So we'll be protecting that information that's, that's specific to them. It's customary in the industry to sign non-disclosure agreements between parties. So that's something that can always be worked out at the start of a project before we start discussing sensitive information between the parties.